you continue watching this video, I want you to take a few minutes and go grab a snack and a drink because you're gonna be here for a while. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth tour of my fidget slime and squishmallow collection. So I actually just finished decluttering and reorganizing my collection. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, pause this one and click the link in the description box so you can watch that first and then come back to this. I know why you're here. It's not for a two minute introduction. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so we are going to start off with my Squishmallow collection. I am not sure exactly how many Squishmallows I have, but if I had to guess, I would say around 200, so it's crazy. And honestly, I always wanna just jump into these. So fun fact, I actually just put up my Christmas tree yesterday. It's never too early. I feel like there's two types of people in this world. People that decorate for Christmas after Thanksgiving and people that decorate for Christmas the day after Halloween and there's no in between. So comment below which side you're on. Um, I'm team Christmas after Halloween all the way. I even have my nails painted for Christmas and I have this little Christmassy outfit on. But anyways, uh, so usually my Squishmallow collection stretches all the way back here to that corner. However, since my tree is up, I couldn't really do that. So anyways though, I'm going to show you guys some of my very favorite Squishmallows that I own. This is definitely one of my top five favorites right here. Um, this is Ham. Say hi, Ham. Hi, everyone. Yeah. He's a big boy. This kangaroo is apparently rare. I got her like two years ago at Learning Express. And look, she even has a pocket for a little baby kangaroo. Does anyone know what a baby kangaroo is called? Oh my gosh, a subscriber sent this little bird squishmallow to me because they thought it looked like Lucky Stars, my bird. And I have to agree, they literally have the same colors. And so I cherish that one. I got Snoopy from Cedar Point. This little mouse with the cheese, I swear I have no never seen before until I went to Claire's last week. So when I saw this, I had to get it. It kind of reminds me of that blue mouse from Bear in the Big Blue House. His name is Tutter. Come in if you know what I'm talking about. Sushi. I love my sushi squishmallow because sushi is my favorite food as of right now. Like there's never a time where I'm not in the mood for sushi. I love it so much that I even have a little baby version of him. I have two little axolotls down here and I got this one from Learning Express and I believe a subscriber sent me that one. Scattered throughout my collection, I have all the characters from the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. That's Zero. There's Sally Stitches over there. Um, and let me know if you see any of the other characters scattered throughout this video. There's Oogie Boogie. I have a ton of bird squishmallows, as you could probably tell. Here's a pink parakeet, a blue parakeet, and that was sent to me by a subscriber as well. You guys are always sending me squishmallows and it makes me so happy. I want you to know that I cherish them and I hang on to them. So thank you so much. You guys are amazing. But yes, I think you guys get the picture. If you were wondering what my favorite one was, I will tell you right now. I will say it right now. I want to get him back. I want to make him really jealous. want to make him feel bad. I want sweet revenge. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that song just popped into my head when I said, I'll show you right now. Okay. Ooh, where is he? Where is he? Um, if anyone knows my favorite before I show it, comment below. We'll see who really listens. Because I think I've said it before in like live streams or maybe YouTube videos. I'm not sure. But definitely live streams. Oh, that's one of my favorites, that cockatiel. He's kind of buried. But he's not my number one favorite. I'm going to try to find him without making a huge mess. Oh, I found him. I found him. I found him. Guys, this is my number one favorite Squishmallow. It's a seagull with french fries. And I got him from Cedar Point. He's so iconic. And um, I think they had him exclusively available because Cedar Point has a lot of seagulls and I always feed them when I see them. And I don't care if people get mad about it. They can be mad all they want. I love seagulls and I wish I could have one as a pet. Now we're going to be switching gears and I'm going to be showing you guys my fidget and slime collection. In total, I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 36 drawer organizers for everything. That is insane. I'm fully aware, but these make me so happy. And sometimes I'll get comments from people saying like, oh my gosh, she's second year 2021. Actually, no. 
I'm not. Everyone's different. Everyone has different things that make them happy. And personally, I still love coming into my fidget loft because there's so much to do in here. There's slimes, there's poppets, there's stress balls, and of course, squishmallows. You could literally dive into a pile of squishmallows. I have fun with it, I love it, and that's all that matters. So if there's something you guys like that other people are like, oh, you're too old for that, or that's not cool anymore, literally it doesn't even matter because it's your life and you do you. If everyone did and said the same things, the world would be so boring. So I'm not trying to give you guys like a formal life lesson or anything, but it's true. Uh, so anyways, we're going to get straight into the collection tour and I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. So please, again, if you haven't already, go get a snack go get a drink, I beg you, because it's gonna be a long one. Or just, at the very least, get a piece of gum to chew on, because <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while. This is gonna be like a little mini movie, but I'm so excited, so let's get straight on into it. Okay, so here is just a quick overview of all the drawers. As I had mentioned, there are 36, and I did mention this in the video that was posted before this one where I decluttered and organized my fidgets. But if you guys didn't see that video and you're wondering what's inside of these drawers, these are not fidgets, they are not slimes, they are obviously not squishmallows. These are my lip size lip balms that I make myself, and I sell them on Etsy. My shop is called Purple Stars Z2. I've been making these for around seven years. I have super unique flavors like green eggs and ham. Like, Yes, it actually smells like green eggs and ham. It's crazy. As you can see, I have them grouped by color. I just had so many, like before they were just in one big bin, but that was not a very productive way of storing them. So I also have jumbo ones. This is called Firecracker Popsicle. It smells amazing. Um, Cookie Monster Ice Scream. Yeah, they're three times the size of a regular lip balm. But yeah, I know you guys are here to see the fidgets and the slimes. Um, but I did just want to mention this and if you would like me to do an in-depth collection tour of my lip balms and talk a little bit more about them Please like this video and comment the lipstick emoji in the comments. Oh also um, I have a bunch of fidget mystery boxes over here I have three of them that I haven't opened yet Eventually I'm going to be doing a video with Callie and Dan where we each open one of these I got them from learning express a few weeks ago and then I also have the mystery squoosh boxes because every time they come out with a new collection, I have to get them all, you know, like literally them all. This was series one, this was series two, and then this is series three. And I just recently did a video of me opening those. Anyways, now we're really going to get started. So starting off with this top drawer, I have all of my foam stress balls. And I'm going to take this drawer out just so you guys don't see that glare that's coming through right now. As you could probably assume, these are similar to the Slow Rising Squishies, except they're a lot stiffer, firmer, less satisfying, honestly. So I have a ton of these adorable little smiley face ones. I mean, no, they're not all smiling. Some are smiling, some are not. Actually, we're going to do a fun little game right now. So I'm going to show you guys a stress ball, and I want you to caption what it's thinking, okay? So here is face number one, face number two. Oh my gosh, phase number three, what, what actually is happening? This is Karen when she can't find the sugar-free cereal at the grocery store. Ooh, phase number four, phase number five, phase number six. Okay, so for phase number six, what is something that would make you super excited? Because he looks super excited. Phase number seven, he looks like he just came back from the dentist and he's trying to show off his teeth. Yeah, we'll just do seven. So comment what those emojis are thinking. And then I recently got these little foam hearts in the mail and I have a fun game that we're gonna do with these two. Okay, so one second, let me find them all. Okay, so there's lots of different colors, right? All of these have a secret message on the other side. So choose your favorite color and then we'll find out what your message of the day is, okay? My favorite color is pink, so let's see what mine is. So mine says strong, smart, and fearless. Okay, that's so sweet, I like that one. My second favorite color out of this bunch is probably white. Yes, I can do it. Honestly, I love the motivation there because my hand is already starting to cramp up a little bit and we're only on drawer number one, so yeah. <laughs> I love the little inspirational message. Yellow is make it happen. Blue is focus, listen, breathe. Red is believe in yourself. Purple is be calm, be quiet, be kind. Magenta is you're amazing. Green is take a deep breath. And lastly, orange is don't give up. 
Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. No, no, no. Who sings that, Sia? Anyway. <laughs> All right, so yes, other than the hearts and the emoji faces, we have lots of sports balls. So we have a football, a baseball, a basketball, a soccer ball. Um, we have a random fire hydrant. This horse, um, he is probably the least satisfying fidget in my entire collection. I don't like that one too much. Um, and then we have a rule of hundreds, which obviously I love that one. I mean, come on, that looks so realistic too. So anyways, I think you guys get the gist of what's in this drawer. I don't want to spend too, too long on it. Moving on to the second drawer down, we have so many slow rising squishies and these are my small to medium ones. And I'll just tell you guys real quick, the bottom drawer has my large slow rising squishies, but we'll do one thing at a time. So I'm going to point out some of my favorite ones in this drawer. Um, okay. So surprisingly, I really love this tooth. It has the cutest little face. It's very unique and it's super slow rising. I just, I love it. This one, <laughs> I also like, except its face is terrifying. This is supposed to be a lipstick Shopkins squishy. So I like that side of it, but this side is like haunting. We've got a taco, a cupcake. We have a lot of food in here. A donut, a little baby bottle. Oh, that one is so satisfying. Um, we have a bomb. This is like one of my top three favorite slow rising squishies. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's shimmery and gorgeous. And obviously it's a shooting star. So that's what's in that drawer. We're going to close that up. And now on to the last drawer of squishies. This is actually pretty full. Um, there's something stuck back there. It's the ice cream. So I guess we'll start with this one. Oh my gosh, that is humongous. This looks like a strawberry soft serve ice cream cone. We've got lots of cakes in here. So we've got this one. It looks so delicious. We have another one in the back. And this is honestly my most satisfying squishy. Throughout this video, I would really like to do some ASMR clips. So I'm going to try to remember to do that. And then there's another rainbow cake back there and a unicorn cake. So tons of cakes. Lots of ice creams as well. And honestly, I think the majority of the squishies in here are foods. We have a really big hot dog squishy. But yeah, guys, there's not much to see in this drawer. Those were my favorites. So I'm gonna squish those back down and shut it. Okay, we got through the first three drawers. And now, okay, so I will admit, these next three are probably some of my favorite fidgets in my collection. I love stress balls. And these are all different types of stress balls. So starting off with this top drawer, we have my Orbeez fidgets. And I'm gonna take out this drawer because, ooh, I have so many cool ones that I would really love to show you guys in depth. Okay, so this was one of my very first ones. This is a shark with Orbeez inside, and he also is supposed to light up. You see that little bulb in his tummy? Oh, see, he still works. Oh my gosh. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we have a baby shark. Baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark. You know I had to. Do you guys call these or beach dress balls or water beach dress balls. Comment below. This is one of my favorites. It is so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Guys, I used to have an obsession with Orbeez, like growing them and just putting them in different containers. My 12 year old self would have died over these. So fun fact, this is the cheapest Orbeez dress ball that I have. I got him for 50 cents at a gumball machine. He's a little alien. And Orbeez come out of his eye sockets and his brain and it's pretty creepy, pretty cool. I got this frog from a vending machine as well. I got this from a subscriber. It's so fun. Sometimes I'll open fan mail and I get the coolest fidgets that I just never has seen before. Ooh, I love this one. It is gorgeous. It is a shimmery water beach dress ball and I got it from Learning Express. I think I have it in like purple too. Yeah. And maybe green. I think those are the colors I got it in. See how they're all just like shimmery. But yeah, then I just have a bunch of mini stress balls that are different colors. I think you guys sort of get the idea here. We're going to put these back. 
Comment below, you guys, which one of my Orbe stress balls is your favorite. I would love to know. I'm very curious. Moving on to drawer number five. Okay, so I think this is actually my number one favorite drawer, guys. Oh my gosh. So if you've been following me for a while and you watch my YouTube shorts or TikToks, I usually start off all my challenge videos by squeezing one of these mesh balls. So if I didn't say this already, uh, this is my mesh ball fidget drawer and I'm obsessed with them. Some of them are doughy and they change colors such as this one. Some of them are full of water beads and others are just full of glitter. So here's some of my favorites. This one, I'm pretty sure you can still find at Target. You squeeze it and it has so many different colors. It reminds me of Dippin' Dots in the summertime. Um, let's see. Oh, I recently got this one from Claire's. It's so cool. It looks like a party inside. This is probably my number one favorite though. I got this from Five Below. I have a lot of color changing ones. Some of them kind of hurt my hand though. Like this one. Ow, my hand actually hurts from that and I'm not just saying that. I got this from Claire's as well. It has three mini stress balls in one. One netting. This has little Fimo slices in it. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty satisfying. We have an Orbeez one, which I love. It's gorgeous. I really like the doughy ones that change colors, such as this one. I actually got this from like a little stand at Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I think I got three. And there's like a yellow one in here somewhere. Yep, right here. What color do you guys think this is going to turn? Comment your guesses below. Ready? Three, two, one. It's the color of a stoplight. Okay. Oh, I love this one. It's pink. I forgot I had it. And then I also got a ton from vending machines, like these little mini ones you see. Almost all of them are from vending machines. Oh, I think this turns purple, yes. Okay, this is a good one. This is easy to squeeze, but some of them are like way too firm for my liking. But let's do one more. I want you guys to comment below what color you think this is gonna turn. Ready? Three, two, one. It's yellow. I'm going to put these back now. Um, I just, I love these so much. I literally might order myself more just because there's still so much room in there. So now onto drawer number six, we have my DNA ball type fidget toys. So these are just so much fun to look at. We have this one with jumbo rainbow DNA. It is so pretty and fun to look at. We have a little bottle of honey. Oh my gosh, this one is absolutely disgusting. It's a bloody eyeball stress ball. Like what? Who thought of this? <laughs> I love it. It's disgusting, but I love it. A pop corn. Oh, one of my very favorites. It's a little smiley one. We have some purple grapes, a gumball machine. I forgot I had him. I have not seen him in a while. Oh, this is so iconic. Whoa. Oh, it looks like it's growing warts. Hold on a second. Let me get those off. That's not supposed to be there. This is my jumbo DNA ball. The DNA in here though, I feel like ping pong balls. They're not squishy like this DNA. <gasps> this one is so pretty. It's giving Easter vibes. It's just, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. This is actually probably my favorite one in this drawer. And then the rest of them are pretty basic with the exception of this brain one. This is another nasty one. Like, ew, what the heck? I just thought of something. This is probably about the size of my bird's brains. Okay, that was weird, but it's true. Ew, now I'm gonna be thinking about that. So those are my DNA ball fidgets. I keep forgetting to do ASMR. Okay, with this next drawer, I'm doing ASMR. Now we have my drawer of food themed fidgets. And this one is really, really, really full so ugh, we're gonna take it out oh my gosh i still remember when i got this it's supposed to be like a jumbo swedish fish fidget toy mrs bench gave me this i think it's been almost two years now yes definitely because dan and i our anniversary is coming up soon and we actually met on the same day that mrs bench and i collabed so yeah that's about two years old now we have this mac and squeeze fidget noodle kits they're really fun We've got a banana. Let me try to find something to do ASMR with. I'll try this, ready? This is supposed to be a sushi and it has foam beads. Ooh, this is a good one for ASMR. Any matches my nails. It's a red pepper. Here we go. I love that so much. Oh my gosh, the Neato Ice Cube. This, I don't know how they made it, but it is so satisfying. Literally, if you just gently squeeze it, it's almost like it melts into your hand. We have this bacon and it's also a sand-based fidget, so more ASMR. 
we have these eggs i think they're eggs honestly i don't know but do they not look like sunny side up eggs so i keep them in here <gasps> my pastel pineapples i haven't seen these in ages oh my gosh i love them Oh, and then I recently got these from the Squoosh and Mystery Packs because Series 3 was all food. So we have some fries, a burger, mint chip ice cream, a cinnamon bun, a taco, and some bubble tea. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. I think they're all so cute. We've got a random potato. It looks so realistic. Oh, peas in a pod. They're so cute. Look at them. I love those fidgets. Uh, what else? A little Twinkie. Oh, this is like, ew, it's a raw blobfish. Woo! Alrighty. Oh, and a fortune cookie. And it has a real fortune, but the fortune is really stupid. I don't remember what it says. We'll read it if you guys want to know. I got this from Five Below. This fortune would make more sense if it smelled like bacon. Like, what? I think they were trying to make kids laugh, but like... Uh, <laughs> Please tell me, like, if you are under the age of 18, did you find this funny? Did you find that funny? No, no, I didn't think so. One last thing I want to show you. Um, these are so cool. They're fidget fruit roll-ups. They look like they'd be edible, but they're not. They even smell good, and they feel like the real deal. So that was off my food fidgets, and now we're going to move on to the animal ones. And I love these. They are so fun and adorable. I have a lot of favorites in this drawer. So, for example, this pig. It has the best texture ever. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell just by watching this, but here, listen to it. It's almost like a slime. Like, it's so satisfying to squish, okay? We have a little hamster and his cheeks puff out. You know how hamsters stuff their cheeks with food? Yeah, I used to have like, oh my gosh, 12 hamsters. Not at one time, but... Um, actually, maybe I did have 12 at one time because they had babies and yeah, it was crazy. Um, but now I'm allergic. Like, I don't know what happened to me, but now I'm allergic. I never was before, but anyway, we have some sand ones. So pink dolphin, pink unicorn. So cute. Oh gosh. I think this is Bigfoot. Oh my. He is really satisfying to squish, but kind of ugly. Ooh, I love this axolotl. It sort of feels exactly like the Nito ice cube that I was just showing you. It has the neatest texture. Oh, we have some of the um, squooshums from the mystery pack. So there's a bumblebee. There's a red fox, which, oh no, I just realized I have two of it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of one. I'll take care of that later. I don't like duplicates. So I don't know why I didn't pick up on that yesterday during the declutter, but that's okay. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe the dough in here hasn't dried out. I got this like three years ago from a place called Toyland. It's out of business now, sadly, but... Why is he still in his packaging? Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, because he's a double. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to give him away to someone else. Oh, we have a Statue of Liberty rubber ducky. Oh, my gosh. Another duplicate. Look, guys. Octopus. Octopus. If anyone wants these extras, comment below an octopus emoji. Okay. Because <laughs> I've got a lot of them and I didn't even realize it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was one of the very first fidgets that I got. They're these little like sticky alligators. Oh my gosh. They like changed color. This used to be blue. Now he's like a weird pale color. Oh. Callie and I got these literally in our very first fidget shopping video. Literally look up. $100 fidget shopping spree and then there's a haul it was from like 2021 oh my gosh we literally got these such a long time ago they used to be so sticky and gross we're going to continue to move on I think my favorite one from this drawer is oh boy that's really hard I just put myself on the spot here probably this pig it is so satisfying okay and now, oh my gosh, this is the land of random fidgets. So prepare to be confused. Yeah. First things first, starting off strong, we have a scary clown look. He's like, I'm going to treat you. <sighs> and he's full of sand. Listen. Ooh, do you see his mouth? <sighs> okay, enough of him. He's terrifying. Oh, we also have a turd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it literally is poop and... It's also full of sand. Do you hear that? Ew. So disgusting. Um, I love this. What is it called? I think it's called a molecule ball. Oh my gosh. I got it from five below and I'm in love with it. Um, this is like a giant green donut inner tube thing. I don't really like it. We have a rainbow star. What is this? 
I'm scared. He's full of sand and he weighs like 4,000 pounds. Oh, this is disturbing. You ready? Ew, it's a gray skull with maggots in his head. Look at him. Ooh, those are so disturbing. I also have a white one that does the same exact thing. Um, yeah, they are so nasty. Oh, a subscriber sent me this. So it's a homemade pink balloon stress ball, and it's actually so satisfying. These are weird. You squeeze them, and the eyeball comes out. Look, ready? Three, two, one. This is like a little unicorn dumpling. I really like that. We have ping pong eyeballs in here. Ooh, this super satisfying star stress ball with, like, glitter inside. There's also a silver one. Oh, here it is. Oh, guys, if I didn't tell you already, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> you see what I did there? It's a thumbs up. Ew! Oh, it's a freaking tongue. It's a tongue! Oh, my gosh. I also have a nose. Look at it. It's hairy, too. Um, yeah. Um, I have a foot. Ah, and the foot has a bug on it. Oh, my gosh. It's not a real bug. It's a fake bug. I've got a squished up brain. I even have an earlobe somewhere. I'm sure it's stuck to something. Let's see if I can find it before I move on. Oh, here it is. I found it. Ugh. Okay, that's disgusting. Oh, one more cool fidget I want to show you. Okay, so now it's a present box, but watch what's about to happen. It flips into a yellow chick. I like the present box better though. So we're going to fix that. Hang on. Okay, you just kind of have to flip it inside out. Look at that. Voila. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Comment if I say your name. Lily and Addie and Lucy and Lydia and Carly and Amanda and Ashley and Peyton and um, Lindsay. And those are all the people that I'm going to name. Happy birthday to you. I was trying to get them all back there before I finished the song. All right, guys. So now we're going to moving on to pop tubes. We have the whole fam. You ready? We have <coughs> jumbo pop tubes. We have <coughs> medium pop tubes mini pop tubes, and last but not least, you ready for this? Micro pop tubes. So this is the whole fam. Comment below which one you like the best. These are pretty cool. These are like OG fidgets. I haven't got a pop tube in a really, really, really long time. I kind of just forgot about them. Like when I do videos on TikTok and for YouTube shorts about my fidget collection, I'm always showing the really wacky weird ones, especially for the emoji challenges. So I kind of forgot about these. They're so much fun. Look at all of the colors in here. That's my favorite part about it. Um, my two coolest ones are probably these two. So we have this light up one for Halloween. I got this last year from Mrs. Bench. And then also I got this Merry Christmas Santa Claus one from her as well. Oh my gosh, that lights up too. Anyways, those are my pop tubes. This next drawer, um, it doesn't get much love, but you know what? I think it is so neat. So these are my puzzle fidget toys. We've got Rubik's Cubes and guys, let me know if you've ever solved a Rubik's Cube because I have not. Oh, darn it, see, I just messed it up. And even though I didn't even do that much, I bet it would take me a long time to fix even just that. I don't have the patience to do that. I've got a lot of different Rubik's Cube fidgets in here. Small, medium, large, you name it. Um, I have a lot of maze fidgets. So this is a really cheap one that I got from a fidget mystery box. It has like a silver marble in there. Not my favorite, honestly. Um, this is another puzzle type fidget. If I took this apart, I would never be able to get it back together. Oh, okay, so these are really fun. These are called infinity cubes, and I have like 12 of these. They all have different patterns, designs, colors. So this is like a paintball one, pretty cool. This is a galaxy one. I have all of these pastel ones. There's more where that came from. I'm not gonna bring them all out because it'll mess up the organization. It's very hard to keep this drawer organized because there is so much going on in here. The last one I'll show you is this outer space one. They're really cool. Honestly, I could fidget with this for a while. It bends in like so many different ways. This is a fidget pad. So it has like different buttons. Here, I'll stop talking for a minute and we'll do a little ASMR. Ready? It clicks. You move this around with your finger. That's sort of like a video game controller and then 
little buttons. So that's a fidget pad. I think this is a fidget cube. These are neat because each side of the cube has a different function. So, okay, there's a giant slinky and inside of that slinky, there's other slinkies. So there's this rainbow ombre star, which is so cool. I don't feel like I've ever used a slinky properly in my life. Like I think you're supposed to put them at the top of the staircase and then it's supposed to just, you know, do its thing. Why don't we go do it? Oh, should we? Yeah. Let's see if it works. Okay, wait, that's a good idea. Okay, we're gonna do it with this one. This is the ultimate slinky. So, okay, here we go. Three, two, one, slinky. We tried. <laughs> I'll get that later. We've got so much to show, so much to do. I can't remember the name of this. I got it from Target. It's like an atom ball. I don't remember. It's pretty cool. That's mm. one of my favorites. Oh, really? Oh, this is like a cheap little click clack thing. Okay, this is neat. It's a little robot. It's made out of wood. I got him from Learning Express. He doesn't really do much, but he's kind of cool. And then of course we have fidget spinners. Fidget spinners became popular in the year 2016, I believe. So I've got lots of different variations. This one has sprinkles. It's really cool. And also I have these. They're sort of like fidget spinners. Yeah, they are fidget spinners, but they're like spherical. I got them actually from a vending machine at the Dollar Tree. Hey, can I show them the fidget spinner that I made? Oh yeah, here, I'll grab it. So please ignore the disorganization. It's so easy for it to become disorganized. All right, y'all, so basically these, so this is 3D printed, the plastic, and then these are from uh, skateboarding wheels in the inserts. You can buy them at a store, and then in the middle, yeah, you just have to center it, there's oh. another skateboarding wheel just plastic on the outside, and you just... Oh my gosh, see, it's, it's really, really big, so you have to have, like, man hands for it. That's so cool! Yeah, and then guys, Dan actually made me another one. Three, two, one. Oh, it's so smooth. Wow. So that's really cool. These were literally made by Dan with a 3D printer. I think that's, oh wait, okay, I need to show this to you guys. This is a little whack-a-mole fidget game. So look, you press one down and then wait, guys, pause the video and guess which one of these is going to pop up next. I'm going to guess yellow. Comment your predictions below. Dan, what do you think? Blue. Purple. You just never know. It, it's random. So we have him. And then, okay, last thing I'll show you guys is this. So I have a bunch of these little, um, what do you call these? Hourglass fidgets. So this is actually shaped like an hourglass. And then I have two more. I'll show you one more. So it's kind of like a race, like which liquid is going to go down first. I'm team pink. What do you guys think? Anyways, okay, we're going to close up this drawer. And we are going to move on to the bottom one. So, okay, basically these are all of my teensy tiny little fidgets and a lot of these are OGs. So over here we have spike balls um, and then we have snappers. Why is this not snapping? Snappers, marble and mesh, um, these mini magnet bead balls flippy bike chains, and then we have acupressure rings. I know a lot of people don't really like these, but I think they're really fun. The texture is, it's like if you're stressed or anxious, I swear these actually just like alleviate something. Um, they're fun when you have a lot of them. If you only have like one, it's like, eh. But when you have a lot, I think it's pretty cool. They look like sea urchins. And then snappers. Um, this is another OG fidget toy, so it's pretty simple. All you do is you squeeze the sides together and... It's pretty fun. I have a bunny. I have a frappe. Um, but I think the OGs work best. And then, okay, so as I mentioned, I have lots of these mini bead magnets. They're so fun. This rainbow one is my favorite. So you can um, rearrange the beads however you want. You can make little pictures or really do whatever you want. They sort of remind me of party necklaces. You know what I'm saying? Like for a birthday party or a football game that people buy. Yeah, they fit into a little box. I lost the lid for this one, unfortunately. Some people refer to these as bike chains. Others say flippy chains. I never understood the hype around those. Okay, and then acupressure rings. Oh my gosh. I actually always carry one of these in my purse if I'm ever like stressed or anxious or anything. I swear, I don't know what it is. Maybe they distract your brain because of how they feel, but they work so well. I seriously love them. And then the last portion of this drawer is again the marble and mesh, another OG fidget toy that I never personally got super into. Uh, basically, there is a marble 
marble inside of the mesh and you can just kind of move it around. Um, so it's a classic fidget. Okay, moving right along, we have another drawer that I think is just so much fun. So this drawer is broken down into two different categories. We have my bubble blowing fidgets and then we have my little pop-up fidgets. Oh, that was the wrong way. So cute. Let's see. I could honestly probably show you guys every single thing that I have in this drawer because there's not many. In-depth tour coming right at you. So wait, why is this in here? I don't think this belongs. This is supposed to be like a little unicorn egg. I'm going to put this in my random fidget drawer. First, we'll start off with my bubble blowing fidgets. We have a bear, a sloth, a unicorn, a yellow duck, a pink duck, a brown duck, a, wow, what happened to him? Guys, that's so weird. I was just about to squeeze him. I, I literally don't know what happened. Um, But he like, I can't squeeze him. It's impossible. That is the most bizarre thing. Okay, so never mind. Let's see if his friend still works. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the orange dinosaur, but the green one works just fine. We have the Frankenstein. He's my most recent one that I got. Um, We have a reindeer. Look at how cute. A little pig. And let's see if the pink dinosaur still blows bubbles. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, I don't know what happened to uh, the orange guy. Poor thing, he's defective. He'll never blow a bubble again. Anyways, oh, what's this? Oh, I forgot about this. So we're gonna move on to my pop-up fidgets now. So this is, I believe, I don't know, a dinosaur or no, this is, oh, it broke on me. Look, it's like farting. Okay, that's nice. That was supposed to be a dragon coming out of an egg. You have a jack-o'-lantern and a ghost. This is really odd. Look at him. He's like, I see you. We've got a banana. This is like the OG one. It's a squirrel coming out of a log. Pug in a mug. Oh, I got this for my friend Nicole Jacqueline. It's a skull and a bat comes out of his head. And then we have these little chicks in a basket. And I have them in three different colors. One, two, three. The last one I'll show you guys is this one. It's like a rare squirrel coming out of a log. Or chipmunk squirrel. What is that? A squirrel or a chipmunk? I don't know, but okay. We've got a ton of jumbo stress balls. I actually have two drawers for these and I do have one that is not upstairs right now. It is in my car. It's a jumbo dice. So just pretend it's here. You guys have probably seen it in my videos before. We have a giant cheese, a giant rainbow dough ball, a neon dough ball. Ooh, that's cool. It's like a magenta stress ball with black Orbeez on the inside. A pink shimmer bingsu stress ball, a blue dough ball. Um, and then, sorry, we kind of did that out of order, but I have a purple jumbo shimmery stress ball. Then I've got one with Orbeez on the inside, this marble design one, a brain, a yellow Orbe stress ball. This one glows in the dark. I love it. This one lights up. This is a pink jumbo nido. And lastly, oh, this is a giant bubble gum ball. And it literally smells like bubble gum. I mean, how cool is that? So, all right, we are done with those drawers. And now my favorite and yours, mochis. Guys, I am in love with mochis. I think that these are incredibly satisfying. So we have, we have them for all different seasons. A candy cane for Christmas. I've got tons of Halloween ones. See, there's a jet a lantern random ones like this unicorn he glows in the dark um octopus i got a lot of these from vending machines oh mr sun sun mr golden sun please shine down on me oh christmas tree oh christmas tree how lovely are your branches it's corn a big lump of knobs it has a juice it has a juice Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little mochi sing-along sesh. I just love these so much. There's a million jillion. I cannot go through all of them. Oh my gosh, I have so many food ones too. This is a little pizza. I wish it was real so I could eat it right now. Yeah, guys, comment down below. What is your favorite mochi that you've seen in my collection? Oh, and this little squid is so cute, but what happened to his eyes? I'm gonna have to paint his eyeballs back on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this drawer. And in here, we have lots of random fidget balls. Okay, so these all have different functions and they don't necessarily fall under like a specific category of the other ones that I showed you, like mesh ball, DNA ball, water beach dress ball, or neato. So this I got from Learning Express. It lights up and it's like a spike ball, but thicker. 
got this. It's so unsatisfying. I don't know why I got it, but it's pretty. This reminds me of strawberry milk boba tea. Oh my gosh, I love it. It makes me crave it. This is cool. It's like a duo stress ball. So if you're feeling crunchy, you fidget with this side. And if you're feeling not crunchy, you fidget with that side. This was from the dollar store. It's like a little, um, what do you call it? You play with this in the pool. But I thought it had a really satisfying texture to it. This is a magma ball and it lights up. Oh, I almost lost it. Okay, there we go. I made it light up. I just kind of had to slam it a few times first. Oh, this is cool. Look, watch this, guys. It's not working. It's supposed to suction onto things, but I think because this isn't like a wooden table, it's not really working. Ew, this is disgusting. Ready for some ASMR? Ew, it's a brain, a bloody brain at that. More ASMR. You guys get the idea. So that's what's in there. And now, okay, this is the start of my slime collection obsession. There's more where that came from, so hang tight because we're gonna be here for a while. So in here, we have my Halloween kawaii slimes. I'm obsessed with the kawaii slime company. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting like a rotating shelf, like a circular rotating shelf with different layers to keep my slimes on. Cause I have so many and when they lay on their sides like this, sometimes the cap comes off and it's just a big mess. So honestly, I might be making that investment soon. Anyhow, okay, we have Frightening Fruit Punch with really cool add-ins on the top. Vampire Kiss. It'd be so much easier to store these if I didn't want to keep the little lids on. But like, if you take that off, it literally just makes them not as cute. You know what I'm saying? This is Creepy Curly Cobwebs. Bobonic Tonic. Oh no, see the lid just popped off. They are so difficult to store. That is my only complaint with them. If the lids were more secure, I would like these actually a hundred times more. Spooky Stew Goo. Well, this one's really cool. It's called Zombie Frat Pay. Two slimes in one. Yep, because of the giant brain clay add-in. Tricks and Treats. Oh my gosh, Haunted Graveyard. That one actually smells like mud and dirt. It's disturbing. Um, Cute to the bone. And then candy corn frosting. So I'm going to really try to put these back very carefully. Um, I used to have these stacked on top of each other, but I just had so many issues with the lids coming off that I couldn't do that anymore. But okay, we're gonna close that up. And now we are about to move on to a, a whole new room, a whole new room. That's where we'll be, that's where we'll be. A thrilling change, a wondrous place for you and me. I had to, I'm going to Disney World soon and I've had Disney songs stuck in my head and Christmas songs, but you know what? Is that such a bad thing? No, it's not. So anyway, all right, a whole new row. Here we go. We have more kawaii slimes because I'm obsessed with them. So this is called Fua Fua Time and it's a cloud slime. Uh, it comes with a teddy bear. I don't know where it went because sadly I lost the top part of the lid and it makes me sad and mad. Um, but see how much easier they are to store? Yeah, so with these ones, guys, um, again, I just... Oh, wait, I actually added the add-ins? What? That's because this was my very first kawaii slime, so I didn't always keep the top part, but now I do. Peppermint Tea Clear Slime. This is the most satisfying thing in the entire world. Kawaii seafood is always going to be, like, my number one favorite. It smells like Trix cereal, and it's beautiful. Spring Flowers is the butter slime. It's really cute for Easter. Ooh, cotton candy. I want to get all the different ice cream pints from the Kawaii Slime Company. I know there's, like, Rainbow Sherbet. There's Neapolitan, so I need to get the others. Summer Corn Chowder. This is the little cupcake one. Um, sour cream and onion slime dip. That came with like little chip charms. So stinking cool. Guys, I don't care how old I am. I will be 100 and I'll still love slimes. Literally, you only live once. So who cares? Like if you're lucky enough to make it to 90, how much would that stink if you were like, I wish I would have just done what I wanted to do, but it's too late. Like, no, you gotta do it now, girl. Mango orange soda strawberry soda what is that ramune ramune classic soda i've never heard of that and then 
grape cream soda. Which one of these sodas would you want to try? I would want to try the strawberry one the most. We've got peach pie filling. That looks so cute and aesthetic. I just, I love these slimes. Slimy dill pickle. And then we have a strawberry milk. So there's that. All right, and now we have my store-bought slimes and putties. Yeah, I have quite a few crazy errands. So this is like a Christmas hide-and-seek one. Um, we have a starfish, pirate cove. I'm not going to go through all of them because honestly, it was really hard to organize these. And I don't want to mess up the organization like I did with this drawer. That's a mess again. It happens very easily. This is one of my favorites, if not my favorite from this drawer. It is called fishbowl slime. And do you guys see the fish in there? It's a clear slime with fish. I think it's so creative and fun. I got it from Mrs. Bench. These little macaroons have slime in them. And then this little skull is full of shimmery water slime. I got them from the Dollar Tree. So there is an overview of that. Okay, now for the bottom drawer. We have a ton of homemade slimes. Some of these were sent by subscribers. Others are just from small businesses, um, such as Slime Before Time. She is actually a subscriber, and she has like a legit slime shop it's so cool so this is strawberry whipped cream we've got oh my gosh this was a custom slime she made for me callie's favorite thing slime oh callie must have forgot to take this home i just realized that so i'm gonna have to give this to callie because i'm pretty sure it was meant for her um there's probably a kayla's favorite thing slime too somewhere in here i'll try to find it christmas beach slime what's this one at the bottom here is this the kayla one yes okay hang on this is Kayla's favorite thing, slime. And look at all the details on here. There's squishmallows, there's pop baits, a little bit of everything. So shout out to Slime Before Time. She's awesome. A subscriber made this for me at my most recent meet and greet. It's called Kayla's Crystal Ball, and it's a gorgeous slime. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have my activator sticks and bottles. Cam's Slime Shop. I actually met her at Mrs. Bench's store grand opening. She is so sweet. I believe she's only 16 years old, and she makes really amazing slimes. This is called Snow Cone Icy. She's going places. She's amazing. Slice of heaven is a custom slime that was created by a subscriber they made this because my favorite lip cess lip balm is slice of heaven and so it's so cool because it literally looks like layered cake and it smells delicious so that's a little glimpse into that drawer moving right along we have more slime so in this top drawer we have more kawaii slimes they're all my favorites you guys but i really really love this straw dairy cow i want to eat it it smells so good um this is fluffy goo it smells like marshmallow danish cookies so good too literally guys i want more kawaii slimes for christmas so bad and i love how intensely they're themed does that make sense maybe what i'm trying to say is all all of them they're like spot on and they're very detailed so like baby axolotl it comes with a little baby bottle charm in there and an axolotl the attention to detail and the scents are just always incredible so there's that and now okay in the middle drawer we have so many dope slimes and I've never actually ordered from their website before. I always get mine from the Learning Express in Wexford, PA, which I'm going to later today, actually, because they're going to be selling my holiday Christmas lip cess in stores. So if you guys are in the area and you want to go get them and not pay for shipping, go to the Learning Express in Wexford, PA, because they will be selling them there. But yeah, I gotta go drop them off right after this video. So fun fact, they're gonna have them in stores. We have some more kawaii slimes in here. This is just like the overflow. So we have a meta amorphosis one it's absolutely stunning this is called rainbow candy topia don't feed the unicorns kiwi bear fuzzy duckling and strawberry mousse and then for dope slimes the thing i love about dope slimes is that these literally like never go bad i swear so we have pb and j swirl firecracker sunday it smells so good robin's egg marshmallow fluff cotton candy just so many i love my slimes and now last but not least we have my drawer of nicole jacklin slimes and in case you didn't know nicole jacklin is actually one of my friends here on youtube we have collabed before and she has her own slime business so I think it's amazing and so cool. Um, I have the most slimes from her, as you can see. So, ooh, we're going to start with a fun one. This is a custom slime she actually created for me. It's called Kayla's Target Shopping Cart. And you can find this slime on her site right now. It's shopnicolejacqueline.com. 
And then I believe she also has this one for sale. Purple Starzo 2 Official Slime. Kayla's Unicorn Frappe. Oop, stay over there. What's this one? I need to know. Oh, Lucky's Fruity Pebbles with my bird Lucky. I loved the custom slimes that she made for me. She even made me a Coraline slime, which I will try to find for you guys without ruining my organization. Two seconds later. Okay, guys, I found it. It's the Coraline slime. I have a serious obsession with this movie. I love this. And you can also find this on her website. Um, but yeah, so that's her new logo. This is her old, old logo. I literally got this Mickey's Donut Slime, I think almost three years ago when we first collabed together. Twinkie Bread is my favorite. It's a classic. There's just so many in here. She's always coming out with the coolest things. SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, and I know she just released a bunch of Christmas ones. So I love Nicole Jacqueline slimes. There's always something new around the corner. Uh, definitely go check her out, you guys. She is awesome. Bye, Nicole Jacqueline slimes. And hello, poppets and dimples. Okay, guys. So in this next drawer, these are jumbo drawer organizers, we have my dimples. And we're going to do a little ASMR with this drawer. Less talking, more ASMRing. You guys ready? Here we go. Okay, hopefully those clips were somewhat satisfying. Um, this drawer is so much fun. It's just so colorful. And I love the way the dimples sound when they cling against each other. Like, I love it. And how pretty is this butterfly, you guys? So these are like poppets, except the bubbles are stronger. They're more thick. You know what I'm saying? But okay, now let's move on to this drawer, which has my 3D poppets and poppet bracelets. Lots of things. So we have poppet purses. We have poppet pencil cases. We have 3D poppet creatures like this unicorn, for instance. Oh my gosh, I love the poppet dice. Oh, this shouldn't be in here though. This is a candy corn. It's just like a regular poppet. So we're gonna put him in there. We have poppet notebooks even. I mean, the fun just really never ends. Oh my gosh, the little gumball machine. I didn't realize I had that. I have so many poppet pets too. Like some of them are really unique. Like guys, this is literally a toilet, a crayon, a bicycle, a thumbtack. So weird, but I love them. And now, okay, guys. I have so many poppets, it's kind of insane. And we have everything from perfume bottles to shooting stars to chocolate bars. Yes, this is the chocolate bar. Little black spiders, you name it, I have it. I have so many Christmas tree poppets. Literally, look, I already found two right here. I have like five of them. I don't know why. Um, I always go crazy with the Christmas poppet shopping. Poppet pineapple is a classic. Okay, if any of you watching have a fidget collection, do you have a pineapple? I'm like 99.999% sure that you do because for some reason, everyone has that. It's like a very common one. Oh, and also a foot. Let me shut that. And now we have more poppets. Here's a little mini ghost I got from an advent calendar this past Halloween. Oh, the cutest little froggy ever. I love him. A peppermint milk a latte. SpongeBob SquarePants, baby. I forgot about my pastel Mickey poppets. <gasps> we have a Santa hat because Santa Claus is coming to town soon. Gingerbread men, a peacock. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a peacock in real life. Probably at the zoo or something. Santa Claus. And he looks so cool with my nails. A puzzle piece. You guys get the picture. You've probably seen my poppets before a million times. All right. And then in this bottom drawer. Okay. So whoo, there are a grand total of three poppets in here. But you would never guess because they're so big. You'd think there's more. So we have a unicorn a mermaid and last but not least a lizard can you believe this tour is almost over it's kind of bittersweet but let's see what is in this next drawer i lost count of how many drawers i've done but this is my drawer of water-based fidgets so back here we have a water dna ball it's so satisfying we have a classic water snake that's on its way out um i had to throw a green one of these away the other day unfortunately because it was about to pop um look at the little fish in there these are always really fun though this jumbo water stress ball Woo! 
Oh, it's more like a splat ball, actually. Look at this. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. These are little colored soda bottles. Oh, little octopus. So we have green, yellow, blue, and pink. I also have this little smiley splat ball. Oh, let me get him. He sticks to the wall too. How can we forget about my fidget fortune teller? Okay, what should we ask it, you guys? What should we ask it? Okay, um, hmm. Will I get a bird for Christmas this year? Nope. Nice. And now we have my noodle drawer. So this is broken up into three different sections. We have my ramen noodles, my rainbow ramen noodles at that. I do have regular ones in here as well. Um, they're boring. We have my monkey noodles. They are so pretty. Um, yeah, I love them. I got this really fun one for Halloween. It has a little skeleton head on it. You see them? And then we have my little character noodles. We've got caterpillars. We have unicorns. We even have centipedes towards the bottom, which are really creepy and crawly. My favorite type of noodle from my noodle collection is definitely the ramen ones. Now for the bottom drawer over here, we have a lot going on. So much color, so much fun. So in here we have snakes, which are in this corner. We have wacky tracks. This is like giving me Sprite vibes, lemon and lime. Lots of fashion fidget dolls. They are all so cute and unique. Um, this one has pop it braids. This girl right here is like a mermaid pop tube. And yeah, there's so many of them. They're really, really fun and creative. We have tangles. I have a very, very large amount of tangles. This is like a jawbreaker themed tangle, which is really cool. I've always liked tangles. Um, and they all kind of remind me of something different. Like this gives me, oh gosh, this reminds me of my bedroom when I was a kid, honestly. This one, it's giving bubblegum. This is giving Toy Story. Lastly, in the center, we have zipper bracelets, which were never like my favorite, but fun fact, when Dan and I first started dating, he would always give me a new zipper bracelet every time he saw me and we would match, so. Now moving on to the last three drawers of my fidget collection. We have my shaggy fidgets in this drawer. So look at this giant green shaggy fidget ball. It's really cool. A lot of these are from the dollar store, guys. We have this crazy little orange monster. Lots of neon wiggle worms with different faces. This one is adorable. It's a little hedgehog and I got him from Fidget Toys Plus, AKA Mrs. Bench. This reminds me of one of those beanie boos. Like, look at its eyes. There's one that I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the very first one that I got. Here it is. Okay, I will be amazed if you guys know what this little monster's name is. Only the real OGs will know. So please, if you're an OG, pause the video and comment below. What's his name? And what's his twin's name? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. It's as simple as that. So shaggy fidget drawer, check. And now we have the PB and J's. Well, they're actually called PB J's, not PB and J's, but I like to call them PB and J's cause it reminds me of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. These are so fun and I wanna get them all. We have an avocado. We have a lion, a hippity hoppity frog, a giant chicken, a ladybug. Oh, the little birdie. I got him from like a rest stop actually. So that's kind of funny. What is this? I don't remember getting him. Oh, a subscriber sent this to me. Where did the Orbeez come out of? I think his head, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, this is cool. It's a little axolotl and you could ask it questions and the answer will come out of its back. So it's like a yes or no question. So I want you guys to pause the video and ask this thing a question, like a yes or no question in the comments and we'll see what the answer is. Okay, I'm gonna do one too. Mine is, should I go get ice cream after filming this video? Oh, oh, there it is. It says yes, yes. Whatever you guys asked it, the answer is yes. So, okay, those were my PBJs. And now last but certainly not least, we have my Neatos. So this is my newest one that I got. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Um, we have snappy Neatos. Let's do some ASMR, ready? 
Neato's are so much fun. Not all of these are Neato brand, by the way. Like this unicorn, not Neato brand. This turtle, not Neato brand, but um, it's the same texture as a Neato, so that's why I have them grouped together. This is a Neato shroom. Um, anytime I do fidget emoji challenges and someone comments a mushroom, I always bring out this, and they're like, that's not a mushroom, but like, I promise it is. It's literally called a Neato shroom. Like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? This is a color-changing Neato. Ooh! This is one of my favorites. It's a baby blue bunny stress ball. It's so cute, right? So I'm going to put the rest of these back inside of the drawer because I think you guys get the picture. So that was the final drawer of this collection tour. Can you believe it? All right, guys. So I have Lucky with me to do the outro because she just would not stop squawking. Lucky, do you love the star fam? Yeah. See, she loves you guys. I'm going to have her sit on my shoulder. But anyways, that was all for this Fidget Slime and Squishmallow collection tour. If you guys liked this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of my collection was. I would love to hear your answers. Ew, she just pooped on me. Okay, well, I'm going to go clean up Lucky's poop. But anyways, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.